Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make turn-based battles in Doom Snap Map. Now, just so you guys know, I've actually been working on this for like a year, trying to figure out how to get this to work. And I know how to get it to work. Now, just so you know, this is going to be for one-on-one -on -one battles, okay? We're not going to do multiple enemies because that, that takes a lot more coding to do that. So we're just going to do one-on-one, -on -one, make it a little bit easier on you. Okay, first things first, we're going to need... There, and when we spawn in, single demon encounter. Okay, so this way we got an enemy that spawns in. Um, and you know what? Ah, we'll leave it that way. Now we're setting up like this because next we're going to build a separate room. This is going to be our battle room. Okay, so, right off the bat, let's go ahead, grab this. Killed an AI. We're going to teleport here. So now when we kill that enemy over there, it should take us over here. So should we, you know, we'll leave it at that. So now we'll play it to show you that it works. to the enemy and there we go so now we're in the other room that's the first part okay now we gotta set up a camera And you want to set up a camera because you want to make it so that you're not moving. And you can't move when the camera's on. So this is going to be a way to help us keep us from moving. So that that way, when we spawn in, nothing works. The only thing that will work is the uh, controls that you program in here. So we're going to do that. So let's set up our angle. Happy enough with that. Okay. So now when we spawn in, that camera will activate. I'll show you that it works. Okay, so now when we kill this enemy. There we go. As you can see, none of the controls work, so we're already on a good we're already on a good roll. That's good. You don't want other controls working because you don't want to be you know taken out of the experience for this. All right. So now we got to spawn in an enemy. change what enemy we're going to do. We're going to do uh, an imp. Yeah, he's got range on him at least. Oh yeah. Disable stagger because uh, that, that's going to cause problems with this uh, type of thing. So you want to make sure that's turned off. Also, we want to make him we're going to make him 
team one so that when we spawn in, he won't attack us right away. So we'll keep that going. But we got to keep the guy from moving also. So this is what we got to do. I'm going to need some of these. set this one up. We have to set this up so um, block demons, don't block their AI site. Don't show in star because we don't want to see it and don't block shots. That way uh, the enemy can shoot through that because we're going to be doing some range attacks here. And we'll just copy this over. now, when we end up in here, we'll have an enemy blocked in one spot. Okay, so we kill this guy. On in, there's our enemy. And as you can see, he can't move, he's stuck in one spot. That's exactly what we want. Okay, we're off to a really good start. We're on a roll. Okay, now let's gotta set up a few other things here, real quick. We're gonna need a bully in real quick. Because uh, we're gonna set up a Boolean filter here. And we're gonna do this so that way when he dies, it'll spawn back here immediately. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna go right back to where you were. So I wanna make sure that's working. Now we got that set up. It's also set up die. We'll set that to true. And when the enemy dies, we'll set that to true. That way, if either one of you guys die, either you die or the enemy dies, we'll set this back to true so this will be enabled again. Okay, That way you can come back here when you kill another enemy in the main world. Also, Killer. I also want to make sure we spawn back when we're done. Where is the... Okay, so now we got that set up. Now we have to make our attacks. So on arrived. Player input. We're going to enable that. What we're going to do is on pressed. We're going to hurt the enemy. Okay, so let's get this up here so it's out of the way. Uh, we're going to knock this down to about 25%. And for damage, let's do uh, just pain in general. That way you know they're getting hurt. Also, let's give us a way to heal ourselves because we're not going to win this fight that easily. There we go. And, and then 
next on hurt it will disable this this will change the team team two spawn when we get hurt it'll set it back to team one okay and if all goes well that should work just fine okay so when we use interact that's the Y button on this but the other button we gotta set that to um, user input one that's the X button so X button is gonna heal us Y button is gonna attack so that way that's set up when the enemy gets hurt it'll disable the input so we can't keep you know hitting him over and over again and it'll send the team two which means he will attack us when we get hurt sets it back to team one so he can't attack us again and also enable our input so that way we can do this again okay and if that's programmed properly it should work Kill this guy. Your enemy. Now I'm gonna attack. You attack me. I'm gonna attack again. You attack me. I'm gonna attack again. You attack me. I'm blinking red, which means I'm injured. Push the X button. I'm healed. I attack again. Oh, he missed that time. There we go, he got me. I'm going to attack again. Cheap shot me again. Just like that, he's dead, and I forgot to disable the camera. <laughs> well, now you see it works, basically. Enemy killed. Disable camera. Okay, there we go. Let's play that one more time to show you it fully works. There we go. And I'm going to attack. He attacks me back. I attack. He attacks me back. There we go. Do it again. Let me heal myself. Do it again. Let's go again. One more, and there we go. And if you want, you can set up a delay for the camera so that way you can see the enemy die before you go back. So I'm going to do that real quick just to show it off. So let's give this uh, just a one second delay. And we'll just show it off one more time so you guys can see it work, and that's going to be it.
more time. I'm gonna do this really fast. And there you go. And that is how you build a turn-based RPG. Okay, so it's real simple. Uh, if you want more than one enemy in this room, you're going to have to do some more programming. You're going to have to use this. And you're going to have to set up the D-pad so that you can switch between um, uh, which enemy you want to attack if you want to do it that way. If you don't do that, it's going to be a random attack, so you're going to have to attack these enemies in random order. Um, you can also set them up so that all three of them, if there's three of them in this room, or more than that, you can set them up so that when you attack once, they all attack you at the same time. The only difference is that you're going to have to have a lot more health in order for you to survive that, so it's going to be a little bit of a different story. You can also set up different button commands, like uh, like you set the jump button for magic, you want to set the enemy on fire, for example. Um, like you can set up a different button input. And when you go to hurt, you can set it for explosion, fire, electric, EMP, pain, blinding, cold. I mean, you can pick all kinds of stuff you want to use. So you can try different options and try out different effects to see what you like out of that. And that's that. That's, what, that's how you build a turn-based RPG. Again, this took me a year to figure this out, and I'm so glad I did. Hopefully you find this helpful. And with that being said, you all take care.